Hello, I am Hee Chan, and today I'm going to talk, be talking about air pollution as a PSA. So first of all, what is air pollution? So I'll be talking about basically about air pollution. Air pollution is um in air pollution is when air in Earth gets polluted because of pollutants like burning fossil fuels or something like that, and it's mainly caused by technology by humans. So the reason why I chose air pollution is that I want to learn more about air pollution and ways to solve this problem because this problem is getting very crucial and very big. And air pollution is when the air is getting polluted because of some reasons like burning fossil fuels, many factories or like many cars or many vehicles, etc. And this can also lead to ozone layer damage which also connects to global warming and exposure to more sunlight. Um, air pollution is a bad problem because it can slowly damage the lungs since air pollution leads to more dust like fine dust and yellow dust as well. Fine dust is known to be one of the most common reasons of get getting cancer. So for us to know of how we should solve this problem, we should first have to know what is causing this problem or what are the main effects of the air pollution. Some of the main direct reasons of what causes air pollution, which I talked about, is going to be the use of fossil fuels and using transportation, having lots of factories, etc. We cannot actually stop or decrease the amount of polluted air and make cleaner air with modern technology, but we can help to highly decrease the speed of air pollution. A way of decreasing the speed of this problem would be using renewable or green energy sources like solar power and hydropower, as well as nuclear power. Although solar power and hydropower has some limitations on how much energy is being made, and nuclear power has some risks, but if you use both these renewable energy sources and fossil fuels, just like hybrid cars, then we can save energy and also help to reduce air pollution. If science develops more in the future, which it will, then we might be able to have cars with only renewable energy sources or so. So although there are many positive effects of green energy, there are also many negative effects of as well. I'm going to be talking about the negative or positive effects. So the renewable energy would be helpful in conserving energy, such as fossil fuels. Also, it will help to slow down air pollution. Environmentally, the effects of these applications would be that we can see that we are reducing the speed of air pollution. These applications would directly affect the amount of how much the air is polluted. Economically, it will be helpful when time passes, since the renewable energy source have been working for a long time and is still successful, then this means economically you and we have benefited, since you have benefited because of the energy you gained from the renewable energy source is now making a profit, and we have benefited because we saved some fossil fuels, and also we um, helped to slow air pollution. So the negative um, implications are that although there are a lot of pros of these renewable energy sources, there are some downsides to these energy sources. So environmentally, these would take up some space where the space was an environment or possibly an e ecosystem as well because these would destroy the ecosystems and the organisms' homes and also it wouldn't be effective as fossil fuels or the energy sources we, we use now, since some of these depend on the weather as well. Economically, if these energy sources fail, which take a lot of time for them to produce a lot of energy, so it's hard, it will be very bad since these energy sources are very expensive. Some of these, like nuclear energy, would also have a risk of it exploding, or anything dangerous can happen to nuclear energy power plants, even if they get affected a little bit by something like natural disasters. Although there are a lot of pros to these renewable energy sources, 
There are also many downsides to the solution of using renewable energy sources. Thank you for watching.